I don't think Ipsy has lost their ever loving minds. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Misty Show. Let me just tell you that today's video is kind of a cluster you know what because I have one, two, three, four, five, six Ipsy orders here. I don't think Ipsy has lost their ever loving minds. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Are you like confused? Do you subscribe to Ipsy? Are you confused and befuddled? Are you like me? Because there's November and December, but I think that there's two Decembers. I just don't know. I like the whole thing confuses me. I'm this close to just canceling them all because they confuse the bejesus out of me. But we're just, this is going to be a longer video. We're just going to open them all up and see. I subscribe to all of the Ipsies. So maybe that's my first mistake because it... They just need to, I don't know, Ipsy, if you're watching this, which I know that you're not, but come on, change your packaging a little bit because we've got the glam bag, BoxyCharm, the Icon Box, refreshments. Can you change your packaging for each one? And then get, let us know wh wh what month this is from. It's so confusing. Can you do that, Ipsy? Let me know. Does it? Are you confused? Is this just me? I don't know. I don't think I'm the only one that gets completely confused about this. But this first one, now this says, the 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 glam bag is the cheapest subscription from Ipsy BoxyCharm because they bought each other out. And this is nice because you do get actual, you get a little thing that tells you what everything is on the inside. This is the November little bag here. Very, very cute. It's all like, Sample sizes. I don't know. I think sometimes you do get a full size item, but these little bags are nice to use for cosmetics. So the first thing that I'm pulling out of here is Benefit Cosmetics. This is the brow setter. Ooh, this is a clear brow. I like that because sometimes you just you don't you want your brows not to be so boom. You want them to just be subtle. Again, I've said this before in other videos. I remember the day where nobody worried about their eyebrows. Now, eyebrows are a thing. But this is nice. It's just a clear a brow gel just to help define a little bit. So, ooh, cute packaging too, Benefit. So, yay. I will put that in my little bag there. The next thing we have, oh, the MSRP on, well, I don't know. A full size would be $26. That one's a sample size. Next, we have uh, Jekka Black Hydrate Primer. This is great. I've used this particular primer before, and it's lovely. Just to put on right before you put on your foundation, it doesn't have a scent. It's very light. So this is a great little product. I've actually bought the full size of this one before. The full size is $20, so it's very, very affordable. The next item we have is a Formula Z Cosmetics, the Transformation Brush. I am going to tell you right now that I am a complete dodo when it comes to makeup at all, period. I like makeup. I wear makeup every day. I don't know what brush is used for what. I probably use the complete wrong brush to apply my makeup. I don't know what this there brush is for. Let me read what it says in the thing. It's time to introduce your favorite highlighters to uh, help you glow on perfectly. Tip, we need, to, I need all the makeup tips I can get. Lightly sweep the brush over your cheekbones, Cupid's brow and brow bones. So this is for highlighter. See, we're, we're learning things new every day. And then the next thing we got in the November, I'll do the December uh, glam bag here in a minute. This one is Regina Rebleld Mini Bold Lip Color Stick in Davina. I love lipstick. Love lipstick. This is an interesting little packaging here. Oh, that brush, MSRP was $12. Ooh, it's like a big crayon. All right, this says, this nude lipstick, lip crayon, is full coverage and foolproof. It kinda, kinda looks like the same color I have on. Ooh, 
It has a scent to it. It's got like a pepperminty scent to it. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, that's the only thing that always scares me that I'm going to break that crown part off. It's wearable and super easy to apply whether you're in front of the mirror or on the go. These captions just crack me up. Plus, it's moisturizing formula keeps your lips hydrated while giving a luxe satin finish. Tip, swipe this stick on your clean, dry lips. No duh. I mean, mine weren't clean. I already had lipstick on it, but... And layer. Oh, I layered for a bolder look. MSRP of the full size is $19. It doesn't say that it has a pepperminty... Um, I don't want to say flavor, but it, it feels like it's a little pepperminty. All right, the last item in the November uh, glam bag is Estate Cosmetics Precision Liquid Eyeliner in Midnight Blue. I have heard that if you have blonde hair, to use a blue uh, eyeliner. It helps accentuate your eyes. So I'm gonna give this one a try. The MSRP of this is $12. And the tip for this one says, hold the liner like a pen and draw along your lash line, flicking into a wing at the corner, which is what I do. I typically wear a liquid liner. This says it is a liquid liner. So we'll give that one a try. It's always good to try new things. All right, that is the uh, November glam bag. Let's do the December one, shall we? I did already open these to save a little bit of time. So, ooh, you're the main attraction in December. Oh, no. See, they don't, I don't like that. I like it when they give you what the product is instead of this. What does this tell me? Get to know your glam bag picks. Okay, well, there's the QR code. That's just lazy, Ipsy. Tis the season. We don't want tips. We want to know what these products are. Anyway, I'm going to do my best to describe, but this bag is fantastic. Look at that. Very festive. Ooh, it's got a little gold ball. Well, the first thing is, again, I don't know what kind of brush this is. It says it is half caked. Oh, oh, that's great. It says right there, it's for blush. I need a new blush brush. How do we get this off? Oh, there we go. Ooh, that feels nice. Yeah, I need a new blush brush, so that is perfect. Yay, yay for that. And then I'm gonna dump out the contents on the inside. Okay, I like this bag, but it is a little, uh, it's flaking off some glitter. All right, the first item that I'm pulling out is Kenzie Berry Beauty. Ooh, parfum. Oh, I love getting parfum. All right, ooh, that is such cute packaging. Ooh, let me show it to you the right side. We don't know anything about this. You'll have to scan the QR code. Ooh, ooh, that's nice. These are great to keep in your travel bag so you don't have to take like your full-size um, perfume with you. Mm, that's nice. I'm going to do my best to take this home with me, and I'll try to put a little some kind of blurb up on the screen for you. Mm, that smells really, really, really nice. All right, the next item is in this little uh, bubble, bubble wrap. Luna Magic. This says it is a powder highlighter. Ooh, we could use that other brush with that. All useful things. I don't know about these next two things. What is this? Nourishing lip oil. I don't use lip oil. This is, it says mango and lime burst. Oh, this is from Siete, Siete, which I don't ever say things correctly. Okay, if you're watching this, I don't pronounce things correctly. I pronounce it in my own language. I don't use any lip oil. Nourishing lip oil. Let's just see. Because I it can get a little sticky. Yeah, see? Ooh, it has a nice smell to it. I don't know. I'll give it a try. They're going to have to pry my EOS uh, chapstick out of my cold, dead hands. But I'll give that a try at night. But it feels a little sticky, and I don't like that. What is this? This is a gel of some sort. What are you? 
We Cherie. It's from the Beauty Crop. I thought it said the Body Shop, but it's from the Beauty Crop. Gr gripping Primer? What are you? You're so hard to read in your packaging. Okay, I don't know what this is. I can't even read what it says on the packaging. Okay, I had to do the little QR code. Apparently this is a primer. I could not read any of that to save my life. I did try a little bit on my hand. Boy, that feels sticky. Yeah, I don't think that I'll be using that. But that is the December Glam Bag. That was a lot. I don't like that you have to do this that QR code. It just drives me a little crazy. Just put it on the card, Ipsy. All right, the next one, I think that these are the um, BoxyCharm, I think. I don't know. And I don't know because, okay, so I got two of the, this size box, okay? And they both came with the same insert. So there isn't a mention of the one of them being for December and one of them being for November. It says to scan. So I'll take that home with me and maybe in the editing of this video I can decide. But this is what I got in one of the boxes. It's so confusing. So some of these items also I... Uh, we'll list on eBay if I don't if I don't use them and it helps pay for these boxes. Um, but some of the items I like to try and use. Uh, so so some of them I may not be opening up to like swatch or test if I think that I might be selling them. So this first one is a perfume which I will be opening up. It is by Rosie Jane. Rosie by Rosie Jane, and I'll try to put it on the screen. Any kind of information that I might be able to find. Ooh, that's a lot. You get a nice size. I'm going to spray it on this since I already sprayed that perfume on from earlier. Ooh. Ooh, that's a nice clean. That's a nice clean body mist. And I like like the plain packaging. So this will be great to spray on like after you get out of the shower. I'm going to go ahead and put the ones I'm going to take home in my little bag there. All right, the next thing I pulled out of the BoxyCharm, either December or January, is Siate, 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 I'm probably saying it wrong, I know it. Brightening, Extraordinary Brightening Perfection. I think that's what this says. I cannot read. There we go. I will keep this. Ah, it's Under Eye Perfector. Ooh, I definitely will use this. So, you'll put it underneath your eye. Oh, I use shape tape now, but I'm going to I'm going to try this uh tomorrow. I will try that tomorrow. That's exciting. I like an under the eye to hide the you know, the sleepless nights eye look. All right. All right. Now we have REM Beauty. This is an eyeshadow palette. Ooh, there are the, all the colors. Ooh, that is that a yellow on there? Let's open it up and see. I like to sometimes just see like the packaging of these uh, compacts. They get really, really kind of ingenious. That's really kind of fun. It looks like UFO. Ooh. Ooh. R-E-M. So these are great winter, fall, winter colors. So let's, let's say that this is the November box. Really, really fun. I like these two here on the end. Um, I am a die hard color pop uh super shock shadow girl so this little palette here is something that i will put on ebay because i'm i'm a die hard pop color pop for my shadows i am all right the next item is an e elliman ibiza dual ended are you a mascara oh it's a lip gloss well, we're gonna Open that up because we like anything lip gloss related. Ooh, look at that packaging. I think I've used this brand before and it's pretty good. Ooh, that's a nice shade there. A nice neutral shade. The little bit of glitter. And then this one here, this is nice. that You've got two different shades in one. 
Oh, I really like that one. You see how shiny my hand is from that, whatever that t toner or primer was, that sticky primer? I like that, so yay for that. And then the last thing in this, what we think is maybe the November uh, BoxyCharm, is Vitamin Boost Plumping Primer. Plumping primer for your face, lips, Face Plumping Primer. You know what? I'm going to keep this. I love this Ciate. It's that brand again. Let me know in the comments how to pronounce it correctly. But Plumping Primer. Ooh, it's got a little bit of a color to it. Does it? Oh, white. Is that the applicator in the lid? Boy, this is the idiot's guide to beauty products. So let's see. See if it makes my hand tingle. Ooh, it has a really nice scent to it. Just a little bit of coverage there to put. So that, I definitely, that's the primer that I would use. That sticky red stuff, no, won't use that. All right, that's the, what we think might be the November Ipsy box. We think this one might be the December one. We don't know for sure, but we're gonna dive into it. All right, K Voss Fairy Dust. Ooh, a pressed highlighter. It's so funny how some products just make you happy. And I love, I'm just going to rip this box because I'm keeping this. I love a highlighter. And I love that it's fairy dust. What a great name. Ooh, that is great packaging too. Pressed highlighter. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Look at that. Do a little bit of a swatch there. You can't even tell. Where's my new highlighter brush? What did I do with it? Your blush. I think I stuck you in here. Okay, we're gonna give this a try. Our highlighter br blush, brush. All right, here we go. We're highlighting. And don't come at me if I'm putting my highlighter in the wrong spot, because I don't know what I'm doing. We just make this work the best that we can. Wherever I think I need a little bit of highlight, that's where it's gonna go. I like it. Yay for that. All right, next we have, gosh, I'm keeping a lot of things in these boxes, which is great. Eliana Bardero, a lip liner, which I could use. We don't know what color or shade that you are is a nice neutral color. Let's try this out. Use a good lip liner. Yay, all right. Gosh, we're keeping a lot. Ooh, look how pretty this packaging is. This is JLo Beauty, that fresh take, eye cream. I know that I should use eye cream, but I don't. Oh, here's the packaging on the front. But this I probably will list on eBay. But beautiful packaging, J Lo. I do like her cleanser. I do. I've used her cleanser, and I do really, really like it. All right, this next item. Ooh, that's a glass bottle. Fancy apricot cleansing oil for your face. It's from Dirty Lamb. Dirty Lamb apricot cleansing oil. Does it smell like apricots? Ooh, ooh, is it cleansing? Let's see if it'll cleanse this lipstick off of my hand. Here, we'll give this a try. It's And it's an oil too, so it probably moisturizes your skin really, really nice. Boy, that lipstick is like, no, I ain't going nowhere. I'm probably such an idiot. This is probably for your hair and I'm putting it on my skin. Okay, it is for your skin. I definitely will use this. It did take it off, but it said to add it with water to let it emulsify a little bit. And it says it's going to take off even your stubborn waterproof cosmetics, leaving your skin very, very nice and hydrated. So that's definitely something that I will use. The last item in maybe December's um, BoxyCharm box is REM Beauty, which we already got in the other one. Another color palette, which is fine because I'm going to list them on eBay. And now I have a quantity of two in that listing. Okay, there's that box. Now we're gonna open up the Ipsy Icon box. One's from, that's, 
One's from December, one's from November. We don't know because they both have the exact same pamphlet on the inside. So we don't really know. So we're gonna do our best. We're just gonna do our best to get through this, but here is the first one. This one you do get full size products. You can see I've been putting on the screen how much the items are, and I will link Ipsy down in the description. Ooh! I used this, and this this stuff is amazing, but my God, is it expensive. This is the Gloss Modern. This is the Clean Laundry Conditioner, Shampoo and Conditioner. They I got this last month in a sample size. It smells so good. I'm gonna take I, I you can't smell it because you're you know you're you're in there you know you can't smell this but this is really good stuff I I love it I'm that's like Merry Christmas to me Merry Christmas Misty okay it looks like there's some good stuff in here this is Ace Beauty hydrating face primer I'm not gonna keep this one because we got enough face primer and I don't need a drawer full of face primer. So that one I'm going to put on eBay. And then we got, ooh, this is lipstick. So uh, of some sort, Pat McGrath Labs Matte Trace Lipstick. We love lipstick. So I will keep this, I think. Ooh, look at that packaging. <laughs> oh, that's a nice color too. It is a matte lip. Just put that lip oil on. That is a beautiful color. Yay for that. Golly. Didn't I say I was going to cancel this because it frustrated me so bad? But dang. There's some good choices in this one. Next we have Danessa. Danessa Myricks. Beauty. Dew Wet Balm. Highlighting face and body balm. Golly, I'm tempted to open this. But we've already got some highlighting stuff. So, rose water, that's the shade. So, I probably will list this one because it's all wrapped up in the cellophane. So, I don't want to open that up, you know, because we already got some highlighters. Oh man, now we got a bronzer. This is from Too Faced, and I like that brand. I can open up this box because it's not wrapped up in all that plastic wrap, but look at the packaging. They just do it well. They really, really do. Look at the little detail of the heart there on the compact. Oh, man, I'm going to keep this because, you know, I just, I just am. I like a, I like a bronzer, especially when you're fair skinned. Um, it's good to add a little bit of color to your face. All right. The next thing we have is Pat McGrath Labs Divine Rose Lux Eternal Eden Eyeshadow Quad. That's a title there. Beautiful packaging. Again, I don't keep the eyeshadows. And I, I've said this many, many times. I wish that I could like say, hey, Ipsy, BoxyCharm, whoever your name is. Now, um, I don't want any more eyeshadow palettes. But this is a really pretty packaging. I'm going to open it up just so you can see. Beautiful color. I especially like that one. But this one I will be listing on eBay because I love my ColourPop. I do. And sometimes when you just like what you like, you just stick with it. Huda, Huda Beauty. This is Cheek Tint in Perky Peach. I don't like a, a, a stick. I like a powder blush. So Huda Beauty, it's all sealed in this box. We're gonna, we're gonna list you on eBay, girl. Next we've got Dew of the Gods. What are you though? The Theory. Retinol Oat Milk Cream Blend. I'm assuming it is some sort of moisturizer, but it's all in this plastic and I won't use this, so we're gonna list that on eBay. This is the last one, kids. We're on the last one. Again, we got the same uh, paperwork in there. We don't know if this is December. Oh, but you know what? We did get another one of these. I'm actually gonna give this one to my daughter. I'm gonna put it in her stocking for Christmas. All right, this next is Drunk Elephant. I think some of these are, th on Ipsy, I should have said this a long time ago. You can go in and you can customize. So you get an email and you can customize, you can pick different things. Um, and sometimes you're just picking 
the thing that you might either can sell, at least with me, the thing that I know that I can sell the most or I can give if it's like, if I don't like any of the choices. But this was one of the things that I think I chose. Um, this is Drunk Elephant and Chris McMillan Silk Amino Conditioning Leave-In Milk Rinsing Shampoo. Wait, what do you do with this? Silk Amino Acid. It's a leave-in conditioner. I'll take this home. I'll give that a try. We'll try that on our hair. And our hair will be drunk like the elephants. Oh, the next thing, we, we have a repeat of the uh, Pat McGrath um, Eyeshadow Quad which we can do as a quantity two listing on eBay. Do we have any other? No, everything else is things that we that we don't already have. So this next one is a Pat McGrath, which great packaging, um, Dark Star Mascara. Dark Scar Mas Dark Star Mascara, which I will, I'm also a Thrive Cosmetics Mascara diehard girl. So I will be listing this mascara on eBay because it's not something that I will use, but it is in black. All right, next we've got Juliet has a gun. This is perfume. This was one of the things that I selected. It smells so good. We've gotten a lot of perfume. I've, I've had this one before. Oh, that is like a really fruity, floral, fresh scent. It smells so good. So yay for that. I love that. All right. The next item we got is a Laura Mercier. And this is Caviar Stick Eye Collar. Ooh. Okay. I've recently discovered that I like a, an eye collar stick. I know I just said that I'm a diehard color pop girl. But I have recently discovered that I do like this eyeshadow stick. They're very, very convenient to put on. That is a great color, a nice neutral color. So I will keep that. Boy, oh boy, that perfume smells good. Mm, mm, mm. That smells real good. I'm gonna keep that in its box though, but I am gonna keep that. All right, ooh, I've used this before. This is, I think I. this is one of the things that I chose, the Quick Flick for perfect wings. So this is a eyeliner, but it has a little stamp. So you stamp your wing on and then you can fill it in with the other end. So I've used this before. It does work really, really well. So I'm definitely gonna keep that. Oh, I see one thing in here that I'm so glad that I got because I love their products, but I'm gonna show you this one first. This is Baya Lip Liner Trio. We just opened up one lip liner. Do we need three more? I mean, I know you should use a different lip liner for different shades. These are the shades that we got. The thing that I have figured out with lip liners is that they don't last very long. Like you think that you can like twirl more out of there, but you really, really can't. I am gonna keep these because I'm always like, whenever I'm like, oh, I wish I had a lip liner, and then I never do. So I'm going to keep those because I'm usually looking for one. And then the last item, and then this this video will be over. Are you Thank you for hanging in there. I know it was a little bit of a train wreck, but I just, I'm confused. I think Ipsy needs to do a little bit better in letting us know what's in our boxes. But this is Bobbi Brown. I love Bobbi Brown Cosmetics. This is a highlighting powder. Did I say that we're, we already kept some highlighting powders? Yeah, I did. But man, when it comes to Bobbi Brown, I, I, I love her items. I love her blushes. I really wish that this was a blush. But man, look at that cake. Look at how pretty it is. All right, we're gonna try. Where's our highlighter brush? We're gonna, we're gonna try it again, kids. Where else can we add some highlighter? Here, let's just put a little bit on our cheek again. Nice. This is makeup for idiots because I don't know what I'm doing. I really, really don't. I'm putting it everywhere because I want my whole face to be highlighted apparently. But that is great. I love her. I love her items so much. But gosh darn it, we did it. 
Again, when I'm editing this, I'm going to do my best to try to figure out what some of these items were because I am certain I did a horrible job at explaining any of them, but it's very, very confusing. Let me know in the comments if you get your boxes and you're like, when is this from? Maybe it's just me because I tend to let things build up and stack up over here on this table before I get to opening them, but I could get, I get very confused. Let me know in the comments if you're confused too, or is it just me? Anywho, thank you guys so much for watching this silly little video. I really do appreciate you. Make sure that you're subscribed to The Misty Show if you are not, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.